questions. Uh, yeah, before taking the question, please let me know. Yes, please, everyone, please turn on your camera. Yes, please turn on your camera. Yes, Marthi, Sara, Adan, Arhan. Now we have discussed the first chapter, revision I am talking about. Uh, second chapter, polynomial. Third chapter already we have done the revision over the fourth chapter. Euclid's geometry we have done, yes or no? No, right? No, ma'am. Euclid's geometry we have not done. Lines and angles we have done and triangle we are doing, right? So once we'll be able to finish this triangle, then we can start with Euclid's geometry. Okay, fine. So the next question is in triangle ABC. In triangle ABC. Yes, sir. And pick you are. AB is equals to AC. This C is equals to angle P and angle B is equals to angle Q. The two triangles. The two triangles are options are there. I saw Celeste, but not convenient. I saw Celeste and convenient as well. And went, but not isosceles. Neither can do it nor isosceles. Yes, please check it. With this much of information, what can be declared?
करेक्ट ऑप्शन ऑप्शन सी ऑप्शन सी लेट्स चेक एनी वन एल्स ट्राइड लेट्स चेक ए बी सी एंड पी क्यू आर वी आर हैविंग टू ट्राइंगल ए बी सी एंड पी क्यू आर ओके ए बी इज इक्वल टू ए सी दिस ए बी एंड ए सी दिस टू आर सी एंगल सी इज इक्वल टू एंगल पी ओके एंगल सी ओवर हेयर इज इक्वल टू एंगल पी ओवर दियर Fine. Angle B is equals to angle Q. This angle B and angle Q are same. Okay, the two triangles are. Now, if AB and AC are equal, can we say that angle B and angle C will also be equal? Yes or no? From here we can say that angle B and angle C will be equal, right? Now, it is given over there that angle B from here is equal to angle Q from there. Angle C from here is equal to angle P. It is given. So, that means, that means what we can say, these two are same angle. This is X. That is also X. Okay. So angle P is X. Angle Q is also X. Angle P and Q are also same. Yes or no? P and Q are also same since P and C are same, so P and Q will be same. So that is also isosceles triangle. Yes. Now congruent or not that we have to check. Okay. So we realized that what we realized that there are two triangles, ABC and PQR. Listen to me very carefully. It is given over here that AB. Is equals to AC. It is given over here. Check it. AB is equals to AC. So we concluded that if AB is equals to AC, if AB is equals to AC, then angle B is equals to angle C. Isosceles triangle property opposite angle must be equal. We are calling it this as X and this one also must be X. Okay. We are assuming it as X. Now the next condition. Next condition says that angle C is equals to angle P. Whatever is angle C, the same angle P is there. So that is also X. Now the next one is given over here that angle B is equals to angle Q. So whatever is angle B, angle Q will be same. It is given in the question. So we I am writing that is X. This way this will also be X. So for now it looks like the other triangle PQR. This is also isosceles triangle because two angles became same, so two sides must be same. It is the property of isosceles triangle. So yeah, ABC isosceles, PQR is also isosceles. Now both are congruent or not that we have to check. Okay, so congruency means what? There are five rules. We are having five rules in hand. Again, I am writing. I know you know that. Still, I am writing side 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 rule. Okay, side angle side rule. Okay, angle side angle. Then angle angle side. Then RHSC writing the rules here and there doesn't matter. Here number doesn't matter. I can write the last one at first. Just five we are having in total. Five rules we are having. From here we have to check any one. Is man anyone will be able to match? So side 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 no, side angle side, side angle side. About side we cannot say anything. Okay, about side we cannot say anything. About angle we can say that here we can see x is there, there we can see x is there. But about side we cannot say anything. See you. You can draw a triangle, a smaller, a teeny tiny triangle. Here, like this, you can draw, and here you can say that here you have constructed sixty degree, here you have constructed seventy degree, and this one must be fifty degree. And then you can draw a big triangle, a big, and again you can say that here you have constructed sixty degree, 
here you have constructed 70 degree and this one automatically came as a 50 degree so angle same doesn't mean that side will be same are you getting my point angle same doesn't mean that side will be same we can draw you you try to think that you can take a scale you can draw a straight line of 2 cm and is it possible to draw draw is it possible to construct 60 degree at a point a yeah it is possible to construct 60 degree at a point a with the help of protractor or maybe compass is it possible to construct 70 degree at a point b yeah it is possible with the help of protractor we can do so okay we can construct 70 degree so this way we'll be getting one triangle and can we draw do the same thing with big very big side like 9 centimeter here we want to draw 60 degree here we want to draw 70 degree yes here also it is possible so angle same doesn't mean that side will be same am i making sense to all of you okay yes. so we cannot say anything about congruency over here yes because two angles are equal sides we don't know anything about side if two angles are equal the third angle will also be equal that can be the case but but about side we cannot say anything and angle 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 congruency rule just don't exist okay angle 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 congruency rule is not there so even if third angle must be same by angle sub property we cannot say both are congruent both are isosceles so isosceles but not congruent option a getting it Yes, ma'am. Let's continue. Now I want you to define what is centroid of any triangle. Centroid ka matlab kya hota hai? Okay. What is in center of any triangle? What is circumcenter and what is orthocenter? Now I can, uh, you must have seen this terminology orthocenter previously. Yes or no? Do you have you seen this name earlier? Orthocenter in previous class or maybe this class. Orthocenter, yes, you have seen, right? Okay, and circumcenter in center, you don't, maybe you don't. But centroid, do you know this centroid? Okay, so let's discuss about it. That what are these centroid in center, circumcenter, or to center? Okay, in sabka matlab kya hota hai? Anyone who want to say what is centroid? What is centroid? Whenever we are having a triangle, okay, whenever you are having a triangle, let's say ABC. In this triangle, when we will be drawing the median, median, okay, we will be drawing median. Median means from the vertex A, I will draw a straight line and it will fall on, on the other side BC, maybe at a point D. This D must be the midpoint of BC. That's called median. Median ka matlab hota hai ki jab bhi hum ek vertex se ek line draw karenge, wo jis side pe bhi fall karega, jis side uh, pe bhi fall karega like this D, us side ko two equal part mein divide karega. That's called median. Okay, whenever we are, AD is a median over here. Why it's median? Because it is dividing the other side BC in two equal part. It is touching BC at midpoint is touching BC at midpoint. That's the meaning of median. From B also we can draw a median. 
okay this e is the midpoint of ac we can say that and from c from this c also we can draw a median so these all are just the medians medians okay at is the median be is the median and cf is the median and point of intersection of median point of intersection of median is called centroid you know that right earlier also you have you must have heard that maybe you are not able to recall this concept but you you are familiar with it right whenever we are drawing a median then point of intersection of all the median it's called the centroid of a triangle centroid okay now or to center when we are having a triangle when we are having a triangle suppose pqr now this time we are not going to draw median this time we are going to draw altitude altitude okay this one's name is altitude altitude ka matlab kya hota hai altitude means it is making 90 degree with you all okay and it is making 90 degree over here and this is making 90 degree over here if this way will be dropping altitude from each and every vertex then the point of intersection of all the altitudes okay point of intersection of all the altitude will give us orthocenter point of intersection of altitude okay this will make a 90 degree with the other side that's called orthocenter is it clear so far to everyone okay now we'll be discussing about in center and circumcenter just a second now in center suppose we are having a triangle here again i am giving the name abc okay now in center means in center means when when will be having bisector of angle a okay bisector of angle a angle a is getting bisected by a line maybe ab bisector of angle b okay angle b is also getting bisected by a line okay maybe the line is be and bisector of angle c angle c bisector maybe that is here the point of intersection of all the bisectors okay bisector of angle a angle b and angle c here i am writing point of intersection of bisectors of angle a b and c that's called in center okay this point is called in center okay now the last one circumcenter okay circumcenter means suppose you are having a triangle name is whatever mn okay now circumcenter means circumcenter means we will be
circum center means we will be dropping a perpendicular bisector of each and every side okay perpendicular also and bisector also maybe that can come from m maybe that can come from any other any other point outside because we are dropping a perpendicular okay perpendicular also and bisector also perpendicular bisector of the side on which can look like this or maybe which can look like which can also look like this because bisector i am saying we are bisecting the side on so it depends upon the midpoint okay every time this from the m will not be have if we'll be having isosceles triangle if we'll be having equilateral triangle then we'll be able to drop from m if we'll be having a scalen triangle then then it may it may be from outside so just keep it aside for a while we have to draw perpendicular bisector this line is perpendicular also and it is touching no at midpoint also let's call it s okay s is the midpoint also and here 90 degrees also there. similarly we are dropping a perpendicular bisector and from here also we are dropping a perpendicular bisector okay so point of intersection so point of intersection of perpendicular bisector that's called circum center circum center ka matlab hota hai whenever we will be dropping perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector ka kya matlab hota hai perpendicular bisector means a line which is perpendicular perpendicular to the side on which we are dropping it and it is bisecting the side also okay that's called perpendicular bisector point of intersection of perpendicular bisector is called circum center is it clear to all of you is it clear yes miss yes ma'am in triangle pq or pq is equals to q or and angle q is equals to 80 degree then angle p is equals to this to it
Yes. Are you done? Sara, Samia. Bharti, Anand, are you done? Are you doing it? Yes. What you got? Is it taking that much time? PQR. Seriously, angle Q is given as 80 degree. Angle R will also be 80 degree. So we are supposed to find angle P. Is it that difficult? Is it that difficult, Sara, Samya, Anand, Bharti? No. Are you doing it? Bharti, are you there? Yes, miss. Are you doing it? Yes, miss. Yes. Is, is it difficult? Okay, let's do the next one. What will be the uh, angle P? The measurement of angle P? It, it is? Yes, it is. Say 50. 50. Anyone is trying to say 50? Yes. Would it be 50? See, in triangle PQR, isosceles triangle, PQ, QR are same. So it must be isosceles where two sides are same. Then opposite to those side angle will also be same. One of the angle is given. It is 80 degree. We are calling that up. another will also be 80. Now we are supposed to find this. How we will be finding it? By angle sum property, sum of all interior angle in a, in any triangle, smaller, bigger, very huge, whatever, sum of all the interior angle of any triangle has to be 180 degree. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Okay, then tell me what will be angle B. 40 degrees. AP plus AP plus B is equals to 180. Are you getting 40? Are you getting 40? Will it be 40? Yes, will it be 40? Yes, 20. It will be 20. It will be 20 degree. This question is not that difficult, right? Right. Everyone getting it? Yes, miss. Let's do the next one. In the given figure. If A angle to DC. AB equals to AC. The value. Angle ABD. Let me draw.
Yes, this question we are having over here. Please do it. I'm giving you five minutes, please do it. Are you able to find angle ABD? Let's discuss it. In the given figure, AD is parallel to BC. These two lines are parallel with each other. 
if these two lines are parallel with each other then this one looks like a transversal and we can say that this angle and this angle will be same yes or no yes or no yes please so we can see that if this is x that one has to be x okay this much be uh just by the concept of parallel line this much we have written however uh, there are more transversal like this ac also looks like a one of the transversal this de also looks like one of the transversal we'll be thinking about it we'll be thinking about it but let's read the next part ab is equals to ac okay so in this triangle abc ab is equals to ac in this triangle abc ab is equals to ac these two sides are equal that means the opposite angle will also be same that means this angle and this angle will be same and that we have already written as x so this one we are bound to write as a x is this, is it making sense to all of you yes okay. now if you will look closely we have to find ab if you will just look closely to our triangle abc if angle b is x angle c is x then then angle angle a will be angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equals to 180 degree angle sum property in triangle abc where angle a is x or uh, a we don't know angle b is x angle c is x and that is equals to 180 can we say angle a will be 180 minus 2x can be can we say that angle a will be 180 degree minus 2x can be yes or no yes ma'am so we will be writing it over here that this is nothing but 180 degree minus 2x okay now if you will look closely 170 degree is mentioned over here i'm talking about this one can you see this complete is nothing but just a straight line can you see it it's just a straight line why i am taking it because 70 degree is given so we must use it okay can we say 70 plus x plus 180 minus 2x all are all together are making linear pairs can we say that that 70 degree plus x plus 180 minus 2x all together is making a straight line that is 180 degree can we say that from here you will be able to find the value of x okay check it 70 degree plus x plus 180 Minus two x is equals to one eighty. Okay, x minus two x is minus x. One eighty seventy. If you will shift everything on the other side, already one one eighty is there. One eighty one eighty will be zero. Seventy will go to other side. It will be minus seventy on that other side. Minus x is equals to minus seventy. So x will be seventy degree. X will be seventy degree. And what we have to find angle A B D. If this x is seventy degree. then this angle will you be able to find yes or no yes or no yes ma'am what will be angle abd if you are having a straight line where all this on this much angle is 70 degree will you be able to find the remaining angle what will be that remaining angle Yes, anyone. Lines and angles chapter revision. Our What actual one and ten. By linear pair. Our actual class we have done. Okay, we have uh done the discussion of each and every concept from lines and angles chapter. 
and after that we have done the revision class also okay so if you are not getting it then i am surprised okay linear pair we are getting over here the 70 degree will help us finding this question mark that is 